Hello all, thank you for uh, tuning in. I'm gonna wait for some more people to jump on, but I'm just walking up to Twitter headquarters right here. So, it's crazy my friends, it's crazy. Uh, I uh, did a uh, Periscope earlier today um, talking about um, Tommy Robinson suspension. Well, it's been confirmed, my friends. It's been confirmed. He's been permanently banned, as we suspected. Uh, Monica, thank you for uh, retweeting this on Twitter. Um, thank you, my friends. Uh, a lot of my super fans are uh, jumping on uh, right now, so special welcome to all of you. No, it is completely ridiculous. So I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can kind of see where we are. So right there, you see the uh, Twitter HQ sign right there straight ahead. Here we are on busy Market Street. This is um, kind of, you know, right in the heart of San Francisco, which is uh, really kind of cool. Um, I mean, they're, we're really right in the heart of it. So you see right there, Muni um, jumping off. And here's Twitter HQ that inhabits Market Square. Beautiful, beautiful building here, my friends. Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful historical building right here in the heart of uh, San Francisco, not far from Civic Center. We're basically just a walking distance. Twain, I completely agree. Globalists are fighting like hell to hold on. You are completely right in that. Uh, so here's what happened, my friends. Um, Tommy Robinson, who's an activist um, in the UK, um, who helped found uh, the English Defense League, um, who's a pa he's, he's a hero. He's he's English England's version of a patriot. He deserves uh, to um, receive knighthood, not censorship. And what does he get? He gets censored by Twitter. Now, the English Defense League was founded um, because of problems with radical Islam in um, Europe, in England. Uh, Monica, thank you for inviting people. So, anyway, he founded this because of the problems he was having in his hometown of Luton, where he was seeing friends, girls that he had gone to school with who were radicalized, um, who were forced to convert. Um, girls where he went to high school with and were beautiful um, girls and now are wearing the hijab. And he saw the damage that um, they were um, sustaining um, and that was happening. Uh, Niederheim, thank you for sharing on Twitter. I appreciate that. And so he, he exactly, it's another hit on uh, free speech, Monica. It's another hit. So anyway, he was so um, upset with what was going on and with the violence and the rapes and the um, all of these things. So he founded the English Defense League to bring awareness to it. They were having protests and they have been attacked physically over and over again. Exactly. Muslims marched through the town center chanting death to the UK and the West. They've taken over the town square where people cannot assemble. When they wanted to have a celebration for St. George's Day, they were shut down. They, uh, they had to have the police protect them. Exactly. Patriots worldwide need to wake up. Now, what is he done? Now, people call him a racist. He's not. You guys need to um, watch his um, Oxford Union. That's the name. Oxford Union speech. If you watch his Oxford Union speech, you see he's not a racist. He is clear to differentiate between the system, the political system of Islam and Muslims. He recognizes that the majority of Muslims are law abiding. But what is happening here? They are labeling him a racist because they want to silence what he's saying because they don't want to wake up, my friends. They don't want to wake up. And that's what's so damaging, my friends. So they're silencing him. They're dismissing what his message is, calling it racism, etc. You have to realize Lauren Southern um, was banned from the UK simply because she was going to go and visit him and interview him. That's crazy, my friends. 
banned from the UK because people don't want that message to get out. And it is right. It is on... Um, I'm going to walk back to my car and get my jacket. It's chillier than I thought. And then uh, we'll get back over here. Um, it is on YouTube. So uh, definitely uh, check it out. Um, the Oxford Union speech um, on YouTube. Yeah, name call. It is an Alinsky type thing. Democracy is being lost when you look at the statistics. And so Tommy Robinson shares those statistics. He shares the um, stories. And all he's doing is trying to bring awareness. He was part of a think tank that was abridging um, Muslims and Westerners, Muslims and Christians, uh, moderate Muslims, to come up with ways to combat um, extremism. He was bridge building. He was bridge building. He has Pakistani friends. He wasn't trying to um, villainize all of Islam by any stretch of the means, my friends. But that's what the racists tried to say. That's what the globalists try to say because they're trying to silence his message. They're trying to silence his message. And now they've kicked him off of Twitter. He had been, um, well, Twain, I think there's liberal Muslims who don't really follow their religion. Um, so I do think, and there is that. But, you know, historicalism, sorry for the shaking, my friends. Um, but anyway, why have we not picked a Twitter headquarters? Um, we need to, my friends. We need to. We need to. Um, so basically, they tried to ban Trump. Um, there was actually an engineer who did it as an experiment of kicking Trump out. Um, so they tried to do that. Um, but basically, Twitter said they wouldn't because he was a head of state. They basically said if, if uh, Trump was not a head of state, then they would um, ban him from Twitter. I, I agree. If Tommy Robinson can be banned permanently from Twitter, any of us can. That's why we need to get this trending. That's why we need to get this trending, my friends. And tweet out the hashtags, I am Tommy, I am Tommy Robinson. We need to do that. Um, I've been trying to do that uh, throughout the afternoon um, to get it trending. I don't think it... Um, Twitter, there's speculation that Twitter is censoring it um, and not allowing it to be posted as a trending topic. Um, but yeah, we need to uh, get it out there. We need to get it out. Yeah, hashtag I am Tommy Robinson. Um, yeah, they do censor their trends to allow... Um, not allow exploitation. So, yeah. <clears throat> but it, it's terrible. And so Tommy's been talking about this. Tommy's been exposing what's been going on in Luton um, and, and other parts of the UK. And he's been motivated for this. Now, he's not a racist. He's been called a Nazi, just like I've been called a Nazi. And it's funny, uh, one of the times I was called a Nazi was when I was protesting on behalf of the rights of Jews to live in Israel. And that's considered a Nazi. Um... But um, what you have, but one of Tommy Robinson's convictions for assault was actually because he beat up a Nazi. Because there was a Nazi who came out to one of their protests and um, he um, basically, Tommy said, you get out. Like, you don't belong here. We don't want your racism. We don't want your radicalism. And um, they basically kicked him out and he basically, they had to use physical force. He goes, we did what Luton boys do. We removed him by force. And so that's what's going on, my friends. He's not a racist. He's actually paid the price to fight racism. He cleansed the rank of the EDL, the English Defense League, of radicalism, of racism. And now he's labeled a Nazi. He's labeled a racist. He's had to live in fear of his life, um, etc. And now he's banned from Twitter because the globalists don't want his message 
out. I, exactly, exactly. He's been attacked um, by uh, Muslims, by Antifa, etc. The police have often stood by and done nothing, my friends. So here I am right now in front of Twitter headquarters, and I'm going to flip around. You can see uh, basically Twitter employees are, are leaving the building, a steady stream. Here we are right here in San Francisco. See, they have a Starbucks right across the street. Beautiful American flag there across the street. Symbol of our Republic. Here we are. A giant Twitter sign right there. I would love to tour it. I should ask uh, for a tour sometimes. Sometime I have um, a couple clients who um, who uh, work um, high up in uh, Twitter. Um, so yeah, I know. I agree. We are being pushed to the uh, brink. Um, but yeah, why is there no conservative social media? Well, you know what, Twitter. And this is the thing. It was Christians who helped build out the platform of Twitter. Um, a lot of the early adopters were Christians, who, and that's why there's a strong conservative voice on Twitter, and Twitter has been fastly trying to censor it. Uh, they have been fastly trying to shut it down and trying to eliminate freedom of speech, trying to eliminate um, all, you know, conservative thought, etc., yeah, and here's what is really ironic, my friends. Here's what's really scary. Guess who has a Twitter account? Hezbollah, Hamas, the Muslim Brotherhood. Terrorist organizations are allowed to have Twitter accounts. But Tommy Robinson is now banned. Hamas, Hezbollah, Muslim Brotherhood all have their official Twitter accounts where they call for death of Jews, death of the West, etc., but when Tommy Robinson starts tweeting out about their ideology, Ready? when he's exposing their hate, he's kicked off. Why is this, my friends? Why is this? It's because Twitter is controlled by the globalists. Twitter is controlled by those who hate the West. And they are trying to advance a globalist, anti-Western agenda, anti-Judeo-Christian values. Verit um, Project Veritas uh, did an underground scene where they showed Twitter engineers talking about that censorship. Talking about how they do that. Talking about how certain keywords can get you muted. How they have built algorithms, etc. We are in a war for Western civilization. Western civilization is under attack, my friends. Are we going to fight for it? Are we going to fight for Western civilization? No sound. There should be sound. You see the American flag behind me. That is what we are fighting for. We are fighting for America. We are fighting not just for America in this country. We are fighting for Western civilization. We are fighting for the preservation of our societies. There were Islamic invasions before then. For, and during the Middle Ages, during the Crusades, that's what sparked the Crusades. I'm glad there's sound. Thank you. There was, there was Muslim invasions in Europe, and now they are invading again and trying to kick us out. They are trying to replace us. They are trying to replace us. They are trying to create a new society. Just Simon, thank you for inviting followers. I appreciate that. They are trying to create Sharia law in Europe, in the United States. We see this in Europe. We see this in Luton. This is what motivated Tommy Robinson when he saw what was happening in his hometown where it was being radically transformed. And I don't care about the color of one's skin. I don't care. What I care about is civilization. What I care about is ideology. I care about Judeo-Christian values. I don't want my daughter to be attacked because she's not wearing a hijab. If my daughter goes to the land where my wife was born, my wife, who's a French citizen, 
living here in the United States. My wife cannot walk safely in her home country. She can't. If she says that she's Jewish, she could be attacked and killed. It's disgusting, my friends. It's disgusting. That is what we are facing. No-go zones in France. Jews being killed. Holocaust, a Holocaust survivor was attacked in her own apartment and brutally murdered. Entire areas of France where it's not safe to go unless you're wearing the hijab. Rape gains in the UK. Sharia patrols in Germany enforcing Sharia law. Stopping people who are not following Sharia law. This is all documented, my friends. This is all documented, my friends. And this is what Tommy Robinson was talking about. He was documenting it. He was showing it. He was talking about the rape gains in Europe, in, 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 Europe, in the UK. Being a Jew in France is not safe. I was reading a statistic um, just today. Jews make up 1% of France's population, and yet they make up a third to half of all the hate crimes. Niederheim, thank you for inviting followers. It's disgusting. And Tommy Robinson arose as a William Wallace of our generation to speak up against the invasion that was happening of our civilization where people were trying to replace our civilization with a backwards ideology, with an ideology that was stuck in the first millennia, a tribal mentality. There are, so an example that um, Tommy Robinson shared in a recent YouTube video, there was a preacher, an Islamic preacher, that was banned from preaching in Pakistan because he was too radical. He was too radical in Pakistan. The UK welcomed him and allows him to preach and gives him a place. Wait a minute, my friends. What's wrong with that? He's too radical for Pakistan, and yet he's allowed to preach in the UK. They have marches where they chant death to the West. They have marches where they pr and they stand in the streets of East London and they preach death to Christians and Jews. Here I am, right in front of the Twitter headquarters. You can see the Twitter sign behind me. Are we going to stand for this kind of censorship when Twitter shuts down Tommy Robinson? You can take our voice, but you cannot take our freedom. We will fight for it. We will fight for it. As our friends who went on before us, we will fight for it. We will fight for it. We will find ways to exercise our freedom of speech. Tommy Robinson was kicked off of Twitter. He's still on YouTube. Check out his YouTube videos. Exactly. Speech's corner. Speaker's corner where, you know, Lenin, Marx, many people have spoken where freedom of speech was allowed. And now, Tommy Robinson is shut out of it. Practically caused a riot when he went there to speak. Yeah, no, he will be kicked off of Facebook soon because Facebook will use the excuse and no one will care. That's the problem. When you look at the mainstream media, when you look at, I mean, at the Huffington Post's coverage, they go, it's about time. That's their attitude. It's about time. But I say right now, we have to stand up. So how are we going to stand up? We are going to continue to speak. We are going to continue to carry that rhetoric. We're going to continue to share it. Tommy Robinson fell today. But tens of thousands will arise today. Tommy Robinson was banned today. But tens of thousands will share his message. As Tommy Robinson said, out on Speaker's Corner... After Martin Zellner was banned, Pauline, thank you for the super heart. I really appreciate that. He said, you can ban the speaker, but you cannot ban the speech. And so I say right here, in front of Twitter, you can ban the user, but you cannot ban the tweets. You can ban the user, but you cannot ban the tweets. Today, we are all Tommy. 
Let us arise. Let us share his message. Let us share what he wants to share. Let us share his voice and be an echo for him. Yes, and Tommy has his own website too. It's TommyRobinson.online. Get on there. Sign up for his email list. I signed up today um, because I hadn't done it previously. You can ban the speaker, but you can't ban the tweets. Today we're all Tommy exactly. So what do we, where do we go from here? One, we need to create alternative media. We need to start building out other platforms and whatever um, that is. Um, whether that's Gab, um, I don't know. I'm going to um, be looking more into it. Um, what, I, what concerns me about Gab is there are a lot of um, racism on there. There's a lot of white supremacy, etc. Um, on there. And I don't know how much um, just good conservative voices there are. I know there are some and I know some of you are on Gab. So, um, thank you uh, from Southampton, and thank you. So, I know there are good voices on Gab, um, but we need to uh, we, we need to maybe build out other um, resources. So, whether that's um, w- uh, web portals or other social networks like Gab, maybe we need to start our own. Whatever it is, we need to start doing it now, my friends. And I'm going to be strategizing whether it's Gab, etc. Because if Tommy Robinson was banned today, soon it could be all of us so we need to speak forth the truth and boldness and not be afraid not be intimidated we can't be intimidated my friends we cannot because we need to continue to build a crescendo because they want us to be intimidated they want to silence us because they do not want the truth they do not want the truth and i, I agree and like i i jumped on gab a little bit i haven't signed up yet but um I was on there just playing around a little bit, just looking through their public timeline or whatever it's called. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's not super user friendly. So we, but you know, whatever that is, whatever that is, and uh, we need to uh, build that. So like one of the things that I'm um, going to be kind of doing is um, building out my YouTube channel. Uh, because my YouTube channel is my most neglected of all my social medias. You know, Twitter, per- it's pretty much Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook for me. Instagram for some, you know, nice stuff once in a while too. Uh, but that's basically what I've been doing. So I'm going to be building out my YouTube because right now Google is not um, super censoring that. Um, so I'm going to be um, jumping on that. Um, for you, uh, something I'm just going to make a quick appeal. Um, If you guys do want to help support, I do need to build out my video equipment so I can do better quality videos. Um, So if you guys do want to support that, um, there's a few ways. You can PayPal me. Uh, My email is in my uh, profile right here. Um, There's also, you can send me Bitcoin. I believe that my Bitcoin address is my pinned tweet right now. Um, As well, I have an Amazon wish list that you can check out as well. Um, Periscope. Um, trying to already follow social media if they don't agree you can't get mortgage exactly um, Periscope I don't think it's dying yet uh, Periscope is still being built um, yeah I mean I think Paris just I mean that's a that's a good point you know maybe Gab just needs the right people to um, go over there and we'll kind of force out the uh, hate speech um, but uh, Periscope is great. I love Periscope. I love the location aspects of it. I love the discover aspects of it. It's great. It's great. And it remembers, it reminds me of the early days on Twitter. I, I've been on Twitter since 2009. Uh, so I was a relatively early adopter. And um, yeah, Apple banned Gab. Um, basically, you just can't get an app for it. So you have to use it through the web portal. So you can use it from your iPhone um, on your web interface. So anyway, I'm about to turn tune out um, here, guys. But thank you all for tuning in um, as I'm broadcasting here from the headquarters of Twitter. Um, I appreciate it. Um, and I appreciate all of you for standing for the truth, for standing for free speech, for continuing to blast out our message of patriotism, of nationalism, of anti-globalism, anti-Marxism, um, pro-Judeo-Christian values. And I saw an interesting quote um, today, and I forgot who it was, so I can't attribute it um, properly, but it said a soldier... Um, is not 
and, and basically the gist of it is a soldier is not motivated by um, what is in front of him, by his hate for what is in front of him, but his love for what is behind him. That's amazing, my friends. A soldier is not motivated by the hate of what is in front of him, but by the love of which is behind them. And that needs to be our um, thing right now, is we are motivated by our love. We're not motivated by those who oppose our freedom of speech. We are motivated by our love. We are motivated by those who are behind us, our families our friends, our communities, our civilization, our society. And we need to continue the good fight. So let that continue to be with you all. God bless all of you. I thank all of you for tuning in. We got some exciting, exciting things coming down the pipe over these next few days, over these next few weeks. The, our best times are still ahead of us. And um, I thank all of you who follow me on here. If you're not already following me, please follow me so you can be notified when I go live. This is an exciting time to be a patriot. We are going to take back our civilization, my friends. We are going to take back our civilization. I know we will. Yeah, Twitter is a private company. They can do what they want. But it's still censorship. It's still censorship. When they, when they allow Hamas and Hezbollah to have a voice on their platform, but not Tommy Robinson, we have something wrong. So let's continue to blast out those tweets tonight. Let's blast out, connect with um, Twitter, uh, you know, at Twitter, at Jack, at Twitter support. At Twitter Safety, ask them, why are you giving Hezbollah a platform and you are banning Tommy Robinson? Bring back Tommy. Hashtag I am Tommy. Hashtag I am Tommy Robinson. We all need to do this as lovers of um, the truth. As lovers of the truth, we need to do this. So... Um, thank you all uh, for tuning in. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. God bless England. God bless every country that holds on to Judeo-Christian values, that is resisting the scourge of radical Islam, that is resisting the scourge of Marxism. Let's let's continue to bless them. Yes, I was just at Twitter headquarters. I just got back to the car. You can see right here the edge of the building of Twitter headquarters right there from my car. So thank you all. Have a wonderful, blessed evening. I might jump back on here uh, later tonight with something. I'm not sure. But thank you all. I love all of you. Thank you all for the amazing support that you give. Have a great evening.